okay so as we discussed yesterday um, you know right like what is front end what is back end what is communication channel what is server server is nothing but a back end so there are multiple back end technologies oracle db2 service post degree and so on so these all are databases so what is database collection of interrelated data to collection of interrelated data is called as a database so database is a software that and organized so that we can easily access managed and updated and updated so why we use the database to maintain the to easily access we can i mean we can any time we can modify it for feature reference we store the data and we can protect it protect the data and we can analyze whenever we required as a reporting purpose you can analyze it so the application of dbms is we have discussed right like in which sector dbms is every sector the database is mandatory to store the data the database is mandatory so why we are storing the information guys for the feature reference by using database we can create the data we can update the data we can retrieve the data we can store the data we can remove the data from the database we can remove the data from the database so creating in the database means we are creating we are storing the data we are creating the data in the database for feature reference whenever we require we can retrieve it or we can update it or we can remove it remove it so all dbms are relational database management system so why these are relational database what is relational database management system the relational database management system the relational database management system means all data which we are storing in the database the which you are storing in the database all are interrelated all are interrelated all are interrelated means the whatever the data you are using it there is a there is a there is a reference to the which one is one table to another table one table to another table so how the data is stored guys in database in the form of tables in the form of tables rdbms means relational database management system is a program that allows you to create update remove and administrator of a relational database administrator of a relational database so relational database is management system is it will allow you to create the data it will allow you to update the data and it will allow you to retrieve the data retrieve means for example um the the the, the customer data you have saved it you wanted to see one customer data so in if it is flat file you need to manually search it if it is excel you can use some filter or search, search it so in database you can directly query the data we can directly query the data we can directly query the data so we can easily retrieve it we can easily retrieve it let me show you so retrieve it and we can remove also we doesn't require the data means we can remove the data also for example one one lic policy one customer has taken so unfortunately uh, or else let's take is the policy uh, period time is over so 15 15 years or 16 years like that so once it is over he will claim right he will claim that then we will give the amount back to him based on some whatever the lic policies maintain the rules it will provide the amount once once it is completed so we no need to save his information we can remove it so by that situation you can remove for example we can store the data means we can insert the data we can insert the data so if you are retrieving the data means 
see like that i am giving so what i meant same i use it to some some statement to retrieve this data or to fetch the data see now i can see the data this is what retrieving or retrieval or fetching fetching data so now storing the data I means this all we stored right store so now if you want to update the data so do, you don't need to worry about these commands we can discuss just i wanted to show you so for example the customer has the customer wanted to change his branch to one location to another location sbi branch so if you are maintaining the branch branch details there you need to update it right? you need to update it wherever he want, he needs the same way this guy smith his salary is increased so i wanted to update it so we can even update the data we can even update the data based on our requirement so you don't need to worry i will show you whether we can update it then update the data or not we will discuss later about this queries so now if you see one row is updated see previously smith it is 800 previously see now it is 1200 so we can update the data for example i don't need this two to this two two employees details so even we can remove the data we can remove the data let me show you you no need to worry the statements we can discuss in the after uh, data types like how these things see now previously how many rows 16 rows 101 1002 1, as well see now 14 rows so did we remove here the two records here we have removed it see two rows deleted one row updated so whenever you can required we can fetch the data we can update the data we can remove the data based on our requirement based on our requirement that is what we mentioned here so the most relational database management system all mostly all relational database management system the sql language is the common language sql language is the common language to interact with the database now what i have done i have connected to the database this all are i am interacting with the database right this all command by using these commands statements i am interacting with the database so to interact with the rdbms any database the mostly wide range of its most common language in all over world guys so most important language sql so sql language to use to access the database based on the our needs we can interact with the database so if you want to interact with any rdbms you must and should use sql sql it is common language for every database in our all over world it's a wide range of database I mean widely they will use so now let's see some popular databases mysql sql server ms sql oracle some of the most popular rdbms most popular rdbms how the data stored in rdbms in the data in rdbms data stored in multiple tables in rdbms data stored in multiple tables see this is one tool which we can which we can see here i have connected my database here if you see here tables tables here if you go see db table employee table temp table winky table so even you can see the data see it is having this is the data even you can see it is having this data 
even you can see tempo data even you can see pinky there is no data so how the data is storing in the database guys in the form of tables in the form of tables so the data is stored in the database in the form of tables like that they have organized because when they are developed the product database because if it is organized we can easily access we can easily understand we can easily modify it we can easily analyze it. we can easily protect this data we can easily protect this data that see if you observe the data stored in the database in the form of tables in the form of tables see if you observe here see this all table see this is sys user sys user means system automatically when you install the software automatically this all tables will get installed based on the to to like why it will installed there is some functionality right for every product if you observe let us take it as a phone pay once you send the amount what is the rules there you can uh, to send the amount either you can use the either you can use the account number either you can use the phone number either you can use the upi id to send that other than that there is no option to send the amount that is not possible so that is the rules once the amount is delivered automatically the uh, status you should get what is the status of the transfer amount and once it is sent it has to give and receive to you then automatically the notification has to be sent to the customer to whom you send the amount so am i right these all are some set of rules these all are some some are some um some inbuilt functionality how they have designed it to perform all those operations like this they will maintain it inside the product so this is sys user means system user system user so when you install this software automatically all this data has has been uh, i mean uh, automatically install it you no need to worry on that let me come to this point like metadata it will come we can discuss there are two objects in the database i will tell you that one so in databases data stored in the multiple tables multiple tables each table can have set of rows and columns what is table combination of columns and rows is called as a table collection of rows and columns as a table different tables will be related to each other so why we are calling relational why we are calling relational the all tables which we are storing in the database those all are interrelated to each other interrelated to each other that means one table can have reference to another table another table can have reference to another table okay that's the reason we are calling as a relational database management system so one table to another table there is a relation so all different tables will be related to each other through certain columns forming relation between these tables how the relation will be uh, define it when you are creating the tables based on some certain columns based on some certain columns so like if you take this is one table this is third second table third table fourth table fifth table sixth table so if you see relational database management system for first table which which is it is having the relation with third table third table so what is the relation to one to third table it is one to one to one relation because 
for first table to third table only one relation one relation so now second table to third table only one relation one relation if you observe third table third table is having how many tables relation guys first table is having one relation second table is having relation fourth table is having relation and fifth table also is having relation for third to 1 2 3 4 5 one from third to 1 2 4 5 relation is there so what is the relation now from third to this tables one to many many to one so this is many right we are taking third we are taking third many to one relation from third table to this 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 tables many to one relation one to one means one table to another table many to one means this table is having many relations this one one table if you observe fourth table fourth table is having relation third and sixth how it will be relation will maintain in the database in real time See, like this for every table is having relation so let's assume that there is a customer ta customer table is there and order table is there product table is there if you take flip cart there are different different products will be there and uh, there are different different customers who order that pro product will be there and order id is also also will be there once you ordered you can able to see the order id details in the orders if you observe if you see anything so you can see the order id details the tracking it will show there right the shipped where it is there and how many days it will take what is the address everything will be show there so how the product the once the customer is these the customer details once the customer is ordered the order the order will go and store in the order id table so now this is the customer customer one name and age order id date customer id and prod id prod means product id cust id means customer id so 0001 is the order who is order this one guys who is order c001 customer id order who is c001 mahesh mohan mohan so by seeing this this order is november 20 this so and so customer so and so product is ordered so 10 now or 001 is ordered who is ordered c001 who is c001 mohan what is the product he has ordered prd1 what is the prd1 price is thousand see now now this all details are stored in single place guys like order mohan and of amount no right customer id details stored in the customer id table and the product id product details and price details is stored in the product id table product table order id and who is order that product when is ordered those details are stored in the order id so now my requirement is i wanted to know what is the order what is the order who is ordered what is the product he has ordered and what is the amount is ordered so do we have all these details in single table here single table no no so order id is having order table customer id is having customer name is having customer id table and the product product price is having product id table so now why we are maintaining relationship now based on my requirement i need to i need to get the data from these three tables how you will get the data without having relationship so 
there is a concept called joins there is a concept called joins so now we will use the joins concept uh, based on the relationship columns we will join this all three tables based on the relationship columns what is the relationship column customer id table customer table and order table what is the relationship customer id customer id customer id is the relationship what is the product table and order id table is the relationship product id product id so now what i will do so and so some whatever i need i will return those things then i will join this how i will join there is a pro joins concept we will discuss there product id equal to prod id and or else any other join left join some other thing customer id equal to cust id like this i will join so whatever columns i need now what are the columns i need i need order id column in select statement we will put order id then i need customer customer name so name column i will put then i need price price column i will put so that's the reason every date every table which is stored in the database which will be have one relation to other database other table that's the reason we are calling as a relational database management system relational database management system relational database management system clear guys what is the relational database management system if you see there is a one database here this is one db ever tool see tables artist albums customer these all are the tables right see just to remember one two tables if you observe album artist customer employee invoice invoice line media type playlist these all are the table is having my database my database okay just to remember those tables let's see how the how the relation see here so this all tables we have right if you see track table this is one table right track track table see from track table to invoice line what is the relation track table to invoice line track table to invoice line unit uh, price track id is the relationship see track id track id see, there is no unit price here we are having track id here we are having track id so that's the reason if you observe from this table to this table only one relation so this all tables whatever we have in the database er diagram er means entity relationship diagram entity relationship diagram so all tables which is stored in the database those all are interrelated those all are interrelated those all are interrelated clear guys those all are interrelated entity relational diagram so if you see here track id track table is having how many relations see four relations is having one from track table to playlist track is one relationship for album for genre for media type it is having many to one relationship see three relationship is having track table with this table and this table this table and this table 
ultimately track table is having year 4 relationship year 1 relationship so now i need track id track table track id name invoice id customer id then customer name then customer name who is who is convinced him to do some transaction or some sales to employ okay leave it so now now if you observe i need track table of name track id name invoice id customer id customer name so what i need to do this table this table this table this table or four tables i need to join to get those relay those data to four columns data how we will relation we will from this table to this table i will use track id from this table to this table i will use invoice invoice of huh? invoice id invoice id from this table to this table customer id i will use so if you observe this is called primary key we will discuss in class times one table primary key to another table foreign key the relation should be maintained see here customer id is the primary key here this is the foreign key these all are foreign keys this is the primary key so entity entity or table or object both are same everything is same object means collection of tables or any object uh, synonyms sequences procedure this all are objects object means which is stored in the database anything like uh, in uh, index also stored sequence also stored this uh, synonyms also stored procedure also stored this all are object object is nothing any small uh, thing also its object right in mobile one object laptop is one object like that the object or table or entity all are same that's the reason entity relationship diagram so you know right why what is rdbmss this is the relationship how they will maintain like how it will maintain in the relational database management system now now there are different different database management systems are there so these all are the popular database management systems mysql rkl and oracle sorry rkl postgresql ms sql db2 db2 mysql my mysql rkl postgresql and ms ms sql and db2 so sql we can call it as a sql also guys sql we can call it as a sql also so we can call it ms sql mysql postgresql also so is sql is different across these different rdbms so oracle means it's a combination of sql plus pl sql pl sql sql plus pl sql it's a combination of sql so if you observe for every database sql is a common sql is a common in db2 also it will be the sql only see everywhere sql is there sql 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 so the most common question for everyone whether this all whether this all different databases are different sql or it's a same sql it's a same sql for everything so all across world all rdbmss are to interact with the rdbmss who use sql only structured query language so then why this many products is there let's initially initially when the government of india introduced detailization detailization if i am not wrong it will be around 2007 Uh, 2017, 2017, around 
2017. So when they have uh, introduced, they have in, they have like informed to all banks, develop some UPA unified payment transaction. They have implemented some other things. They have done it and they told that. So what happened finally? Finally, first first came either phone pay or some Google Pay scheme. Some Google Pay. Google Pay. Google Pay is came. It's a Google product. Then phone pay is came. It's a Flipkart product. Google Pay is Google product. Phone Pay is tie up with the S yes Bank. S yes Bank. They, they have introduced phone pay. So now when the Google Pay is came, when the Google Pay is came, does other companies is uh, like let it leave it? We have only UPA payment. Uh, let it leave it. We don't need to develop like that. They have things. They have thought it. No, they have introduced again phone pay to another business bank. They have introduced and after that for every bank they are maintaining separate ICIC pay, HDFC pay, Bharat pay. Next, uh, yeah, this many banks and UP they have developed their own UPAs their own applications. Why? Because they wanted to have a, they, they need a business. They need a business. That's the reason one, one company here, if you see Flipkart, here Google, next ICSA, HDFC, one, one company has developed their own product. The same way MySQL, previously it was some other company, now Heracles, Arkle has acquired this one also. Arkle is Arkle company, post degree is post degree company, and DB2 is a IBM company. So MS SQL is a Microsoft. Microsoft product. So all databases are same functionality. This will work as a same only, but they need a business to like, uh, they have introduced their own products in the market. They have introduced their own products. So let's comes to our point now, our point. Is SQL is it different across the RDBMSs? No, it's same only. 95 to 98% all SQL are having the same syntax, same only. There are some say, why remaining three to five percent, five to two, two to five percent? Why I'm telling means there is some slight syntaxes will be wrong. Change. There is some slight syntaxes will be changed. So how it is that, for example, create here. If you want to create a table in our Arkel, sorry, I am writing here. If you want to create a table, just to create table, table name, we will give it. Table, some table underscore name. Then some other things we will open, they will write it. So whereas in post degree SQL, how they will write it? Create or replace. Table, table name. So they can replace the table. For example, right now, Google has introduced, you know, uh, Google has introduced databases as Cloud Spanner. Cloud Spanner. These all are the um, Cloud Spanner. These all are the like cloud databases. Google BigQuery. TCP product. Google Cloud Database. Google BigQuery. So I need to work on this Google BigQuery from this month, uh, I think around 20. Uh, there is a project is coming. This one I need to work with, Cloud Spanner. So now if you see in database, Arkel, if you want to create a, if you want to create a view, you have to write a create view view name. View name. Whereas in Cloud Spanner, we need to write Create view view name view name 
SQL invoker like this. Only <coughs> some slight syntaxes will be same, uh, different. Everything is the same only, slight syntaxes. So if you write a syntax is wrong, write a table name. Write a table name is some temp one. If you write a syntax is the same, wrong. What you are observed here, tell me. Syntax I have written wrong. What do you observe? Can you see here? There is an underline red mark. Underline red mark, can you see? Tell me, guys. Create a table, table name. Yes, we need to write a table, table name. Can you observe yet? There is a red mark down where we have written wrong. Here. There is a red mark. Can you see? Or it's not visible? Yeah, we can see. We can see, right? So, now every database is maintaining their own tools. So, we need to work on those tools only in real time. This is a Arkel SQL developer. If you are interacting with the Arkel database, you have to use Arkel SQL developer. There are other tools also. 99% companies are using RKL SQL developer. If you are interacting with the RKL database developer, we have Toad, we have PL SQL developer, we have DB ever, many tools are there. But in real time, 99% people will use this one. If you are using yeah, My MySQL, like uh, there is a tool called uh, Microsoft uh, SQL is there, right? Like uh, MS SQL. Microsoft one tool will be there. PostgreSQL, there is one separate tool is there. So when you are writing a code, writing a code, if the syntax is wrong, automatically it will show. You have to write, create a table, table name, like that it is telling syntax. Create table, table name like that. So you no need to worry which database you are learning. You no need to worry because the tool itself indicate you where you are writing wrong. And that doesn't difficulty to, to find out the syntax for anything. So for example, I doesn't know about the cloud spanner. I knew only Arkel SQL, but they, they asked me to work. So when I have written the code, when I have written the my view or my any code, it is not running in the cloud spanner. What I have done? I just mentioned view syntax, view syntax in cloud spanner. View syntax in cloud spanner. Directly it will come. You no need to worry about that. Directly it will come. Create view view or uh, create create view or create or replace view view name. See SQL security invoker. So in itself, we can see the syntax and wherever you are in our SQL means create view, view name, then you ask query. Here what is added extra SQL query invoker. So that you can see and you can easily understand it. You can easily able to write it. You don't need to worry which database you are learning. In any database you can work. If you learned any one technology, I'm not saying that if you learn Arkel, uh, you will learn all technology. If you learn MySQL, you can work on any, any database. If you learn Arkel also, you can learn, you can work any database. If you learn PostgreSQL also, you can work any databases. So SQL is a common language to interact with the all databases, all databases to interact with the all databases. 95 to 98% syntax is the same. Every functionality is the same. Only slight syntaxes will be different. You can easily identify it when you are writing a code itself. You no need to worry. So yesterday somebody is asked that question. I hope it's clear to them. 
Yeah, I think it's clear. Now, SQL. So we, we will call it as in SQL, in real time SQL. We can call it as a SQL or we can also call it as a SQL. So mostly we will call it as SQL only. SQL means structured query language. Structured query language. Structured. Structure means are we main, we are maintaining a structure, right? Like create, table, table name, then SLM something, column name, data type, like that. So we must and should follow the structure only. Otherwise, we can't create the table. So that's the reason structure. Query means we this is the query. We are querying the data by using the structure. We are querying the data. Querying the data or retrieving the data or fetching the data. Everything is the same. Everything is the same. Next language. Also referred as SQL. SQL programming language used to interact with the relational database management system. I said, right, by using SQL, we can interact with any RDBMS, either with respect to RKL, with respect to MySQL, with respect to MS SQL, everything. So SQL is a primarily used in RDBMS, primarily used in RDBMS. All major RDBMS like RKL, MySQL, MSQL, PostGre, and so on, many things are there. Use SQL only. Cloud Spanner, Google BigQuery, many things are there. All RDBMSs, most like all major RDBMSs, RKL and MySQL uses the SQL only to interact with the relational database management system. It is a primarily usual language for any database. That's the reason it is a most demanded technology for most demanded technology SQL is everywhere we can use. Even if you are a, if you are a database developer, you have to use it. Even if you are testing developer, testing, testing developer, I mean test that, you, you should also know the SQL because when you are testing any application, so they will give some set of set of like business term functionalities. Like I need to get the, I need to get the monthly, monthly sales report. In that report, the BA tool developer, either a Tableau, either a Power BA, either a Quick Lens, either a Look or any developer, they will develop one reporting tool, but they will connect with the, if you are working as a reporting developer, you should have SQL. If you are working as a database developer, you should have SQL. If you are working as a Java, they should have some brief understanding SQL. If you are working as a SQL, you should have SQL as well. For every technology, the major, for every technology, at least they should have some basics. For reporting, for database, for tester should have some no, no, command. No, no, no. Some command on the database. Why reporting team is required to SQL, they have to, reporting team means if they are having the data, they can able to prepare the report. They can able to develop the report. Without having data, the reporting team cannot develop the report. They cannot develop the report. So now any reporting developer should have complete knowledge on SQL and developer should have database developer will be required and tester also required from Java, .NET, those people should have some basic idea on that intermediate level at a basic. Why they need we will write a program and we will give it to them to make this one. To make this one, they need it to make connection. See, this is a web application they will develop. How the connection will come here? We will give, for example, we have, we have written one procedure to get when the LIC ID, when the data birth, 
the details of the LIC person has to be displayed. We will write a procedure, then we will give it to this data, Java people or .NET people. They will call this procedure in their, in their code. Because in web application only, they will enter this LIC and uh, date of birth, no. When they have entered yesterday, right, username and password they entered. When they entered, the all details of the, the with respect to user, those details has to be displayed on the web application. How it will come? We will write uh, this procedure or something else. Then we will give it to this data, Java developer, .NET developer. They will call it this program in their programming language. While they are calling, they should have some basic idea on that, how they have to call it as a database. <coughs> okay, that's the reason SQL is a most dependent language. So by using SQL, we can read the data. I said, right, it is a reading the data. It is a fetching the data. It is a retrieving the data. It is a querying the data. We are reading data, right? We are reading employee table data. We can write data. If you want to insert some other details, like 1003, some other, you can do it. That is write data. Create or modify or delete data. If you want to create some other data or some other table, if you are maintaining, then we can create another table. And we can modify it. I showed you, right? We have updated it. See, here 800, we have modified it to 1200. Then we can analyze the data. We can see and we can analyze it. And we can build reports. Who will do this most analysis part and build? Reporting team will do. Reporting team. They will, pro they will prepare some reports. They will prepare some reports. How the report will be there? Can you hear me, guys? Hello, uh, yes. yes sorry, guys. Uh, uh, network lost. <laughs> uh, uh, the Wi-Fi power gone, so I connected with the mobile. So now, you, when it is disconnected, when when I explained this one, you was there. You are there, guys. When I explained this, analyze the data, build the reports. You are there? Yeah. It was there, right? See, let's see one just to sample sample reporting, how it will be there. The reporting team should have to do, should have done this reporting. See. See, sales pipeline dashboard. See, 
जुलाई अवार्ड पर हाउ सी सेल्स पाइपलाइन सो द यूजर व्हाट दे विल टेल आई डोंट वांट टू गो टू द डेटाबेस आई जस्ट नीड टू व्हेन आई सी आई हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड सी पार्टनर कैटेगरी इन व्हिच कैटेगरी क्लाउड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड सॉफ्टवेयर व्हेन दे सी दिस रिपोर्ट देयर इटसेल्फ दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज देयर बिजनेस वेयर इट इज गुड म्यूचुअल इंटरेस्ट discover validate it the deal c september month what was the business august month what was the business and july month what was the business they can easily understand it so this will developed by reporting team how they will develop they will get the data from the database and they will develop this reports so they will analyze the data and they will develop the report for them also database is mandatory now data data means what is data guys anything which is understandable by the whom system is called data right there are multiple definitions the collection of events needs to be stored in a single object called as a data or a collection of raw facts why we are calling as a object events the events is nothing but we are updating we are deleting we are creating and we are inserting creating means inserting updating and deleting any transaction which you are performing in the database that is called event any transaction once you interact with the database once you query that then one transaction the transactions are add modify and remove remove means delete modify means update add means insert we will discuss there so all databases we have only two types of objects one is user object one is system object user object means it's created by the user and manipulated by the user and it contains the user data contains the user data if you observe here yesterday we have created one temp table right i think it's the pl sql session um, see there is the employee table this is called this is called one object employee table is called one object employee table is called one object who created i have created that means i am the user for the database so that is user object it's created by the user and manipulated by the users so anyone can manipulate it if i gave access to you you can manipulate this one manipulate in the sense either delete either update either insert so it contains the user data why we are telling user data i only inserted this data right so i am the user for the database so i am the user for the database and it is having the user data who is the user or customer for the bank customer whoever is open the account they are the users to the branch or customers to the branch the same way who is the users for the database whoever is having access they are the users system object system object means it's created by the system it's created by the system and contain the uh, created by the system we will call it as a data dictionaries as well nothing but system created object system object means nothing but system created object we will call it as a data dictionaries which are available in the database when it is available you no need to create by default these tables will be available when when you install the software by default system will create these objects by default system will create these objects that's the reason we are calling as a system object that's the reason we will call it as a system object user object means created by the user and manipulated by the user and contain the user data system object means created by the system and it's available in the database we will call it as a data dictionaries as well automatically system will create that's all for today's session guys from tomorrow we will create the tables to create the tables what and all we required we will start the databases from tomorrow we need to work with the database like we need to create the table how we need to create the table 
what and all parameters you required to create the table these all the things we can discuss tomorrow and we will practically i will show from tomorrow onwards everything okay because all introduction is completed what is sql how the data is stored in the database guys in the form of tables so that means from tomorrow onwards we will start about the tables we will create the table that's all for today's session anyone is having any doubts same session will be stored uh, uh, like upload and i will send you the link guys um, so that you can help any doubts anyone is having any doubts no no the call if anyone is having any doubts please ask me thank you pl sql madam what is pl sql means procedure language it is a extension of sql extension extension of sql so we will write here in sql we will write a single statements and we will execute the statements in pl sql if you want to execute a multiple statements collection of statements we can use so we will we need to follow some procedure procedural statements procedure means we have to declare we have to declare the variables we have to declare begin then we have to end it like extension of sql is called as a pl it is a programming language we need to write a programs there to store the data or automatically see now we are querying the data whether these statements are storing anything in sql no it doesn't store anyway but we can store those details in the pl sql program pl sql program how it will be let me show you see like this like this the statements will be there see this is one statement in sql can we store it in sql no it doesn't store anywhere but in pl sql we can store this one by using this the this type of some uh, the procedure procedure means on format you need to follow declare declare variables then begin this is the executable section then end in the declare section there will be exception section also uh, it is a just a small small just a, a very simple program we will have 30 to 40 lines code as well any doubts is it clear madam is it clear yeah thank you yeah like if you see see this is one process trigger we created this is how we need to follow it we can save the all sql statements and pl sql statements in this trigger <coughs> jyoti is it clear okay okay guys if no doubts then we are good to close the call thank you thanks for joining call we'll meet tomorrow so i will upload the recorded session in youtube and i will send the request and please subscribe my channel if you are uh, like uh, the subject is uh, is good and if you like my content please subscribe to youtube channel to get uh, another videos as well as please for join in our uh, telegram channel and whatsapp group as well thank you have a nice day somebody is pinged something thank you okay no problem